Hey everybody, Magic here, and today I'm going to be teaching all of you guys how to become a professional spy main. Now I've compiled years of research all into this one video just for you guys, so let's get started. When players are scared or fearful, they don't make the right decisions and don't play properly which gives you the advantage. So you need to make sure that as soon as you enter a server, everyone knows who you are and what you're capable of. And what better way to accomplish this than to have a username that strikes fear into even the most terrifying of opponents. Now, let's think of someone strong, big, someone that isn't easily swayed. Let's think Dwayne The Rock Johnson. How do we strike fear into this man? Ooh, I got a perfect name right here. Check this out. Beautiful. Now for the final piece, a profile picture. Now, what is something that would make Dwayne shit his pants? Oh, I know. Absolutely beautiful. Now, everyone will know you're an alpha male because only alpha males have profiles that look like this. Seriously guys, only the coolest of people oozing with charisma have their profiles looking this amazing. I can literally hear Dwayne Johnson right now just shitting his pants in fear. So when approaching a sniper, make sure you uncloak right behind him so he can hear you loud and clear. He will be so paralyzed in fear due to your overwhelming presence that he will panic and not know what to do. While he's standing there in fear, this is your chance to strike. Now a lot of people are going to tell you to disguise as different people and mix it up, but this is just false, trust me. So what you're actually going to want to do is always disguise as the exact same person. That way every time the real player that you're disguised at shows up into the enemy team, they will all shoot him and he will get very upset, oh, causing a lot of discourse damn. between the enemy team. As you know if you've played Overwatch, if your whole team is arguing, you will never win. Therefore, you have not only infiltrated them in game, but you've infiltrated the enemy team's minds. That, my friends, is a true spy player. Now watch as the enemy team crumbles before your eyes. So in order for this advanced technique to work, you're gonna have to follow me very closely here. As the spy in your spawn room, hit the comma key on your keyboard and select the heavy with the Tommy Slav equipped. Boom, silent killer. Now as the spy, because you're silent, no one will be able to hear you. You can easily sneak up behind all the enemies and they will just have no clue. You just wait for the perfect time to strike and that's it. Now most people will tell you you should shoot the sniper, but that's just wrong. What you actually want to do is just backstab that boy, show him who's boss, and forcibly make him unscope. You might think what you just did was dumb, but what you actually did was save that poor heavy on your team. That friendly heavy, that young child, just throwing sandwiches around. You saved him. You were a savior. Thank you! Plus now that sniper is a free backstab for the other eight spies on your team anyways. If you want to be a pro spy, you gotta be fast. So let me show you the speedy technique. So what you're gonna have to do is equip the large earner. This gives you speed. Then whatever your sensitivity is, triple it. Now run around and just flailing your wrist and you'll just see the speed unfold before your eyes. Now this is something that you can do when you're not on the computer for 12 hours straight. Not that as a spy man you'd ever want to do that, you know? Like, how are you gonna get good if you're not just playing 24 seven, you know what I mean? Just make sure that at all times while you're awake, you just avoid the sunlight the best you can, all right? No sunlight. These are extremely dangerous and harmful rays, especially for up and coming spy mains. Now let me show you the science behind it. You see here, light is radiation, and radiation equals bad. This is not good for you. Every single time you look outside and the sunlight comes in through your window, it's destroying your capabilities. 
These harmful rays penetrate your mind, and each one that does destroys five spy main brain cells in the process that you can never recover. They're gone permanently. Many ways you can limit these harmful rays from ever getting near you is to just be awake at the night and sleep in the day, close your blinds, close your curtains, have umbrellas, sunglasses, hoodies. You just need to stay safe, guys. If you really want to become a professional spy, you have to take this very seriously. So for those of you who live with your parents, you're already a step ahead of the game. And for those of you who've moved out, you need to move back. Trust me, this is essential. If you don't move back into your parents' place, you will never reach your maximum potential as a spy. You need to be as efficient as possible with your time. That means no wasting time cooking, no wasting time going to the bathroom. You can't be doing that. You need to be as much as you can on the computer playing as the spy. Now sadly, you can't forego eating because you need that energy to convert into arm movement energy so you can flail your mouse around and stab some people. So make sure you scream and yell and whine and nag at your mom whenever you need food because she will be able to give you the nutrients that you need without the time wasted making it. And I know some of you might be a little bit upset to hear this, but trust me, she will understand. She it's knows okay, you're on a boy, quest. She knows you strong. want to be powerful, amazing, and strong. Thank me later. So what I have here for you guys is the final piece of the puzzle to become the greatest spy player, not just in TF2, but with mankind itself. Get ready guys, this is gonna blow your mind. Even the most fearsome of opponents are gonna be quaking in fear at your presence. I have searched far and wide, I've gone through the Vatican, I've read all the secret books, the Dead Sea Scrolls, I've read it all, I've looked everywhere, I've gone through deserts, through oceans, I've traveled into space, I went to Mars, you know, this is, this is where I'm getting all this information from. I've had the aliens themselves, the ones who built the pyramids, you know, they've told me exactly what needs to be done, and now I'm here telling you guys today exactly what you need to do. You are not going to believe what this technique is, the secret technique, the one to change everything. The meta of TF2 will change. You guys will never be playing the same game again. Even if you never play Spy and you're just watching this video to know what to look out for, you're done. There's nothing you can do against this. I sat there and meditated for five days straight so that I could travel through the astral plane to meet the one, the one who knows all, everything. And he told me this. Hey man, Fat Magic, I'm real happy that you made it all the way here on your journey through all the the days that you've been alive now I'm gonna show you the secret technique right here so pull up your computer yeah that's right there you go play as a spy now what you're gonna do is press one on the keyboard <laughs> 